what's going on there YouTube welcome back to Charles's movie room today I'm in my nerd room which I don't video from a lot um, but it's where you know my board games collection is and then my eBay shop is all out of this room um, and so I've been filming in here I uh, got some stuff cleaned up um, today I'm gonna show I'm gonna do a board game haul with you I got a box it's been a month ago so it's been sitting um, underneath the car table I'm actually filming on and I noticed it the other day when I want to move some stuff around um, so I'm gonna be doing that but first I am going to begin to uh, miniature painting um, I've been wanting to do that for a very very long time um, uh, kind of interest of mine I have a lot of games that are um, all miniatures like Zombicide is my favorite game um, I have a bunch of other Simon games and I have a bunch of other games from Peterson games because that's where this game is kind of from today. I got like the Tarant Team and T game. I have Ghostbusters of both games, miniatures with that. I just have so many miniature games. I've always wanted to paint them. Um, I got so many board games to paint. I have sold off some of my collection. I will continue to sell off some of my collection. I'm gonna probably go through it one more time. Um, and do another big selling of stuff. Um, probably anything that doesn't have miniatures may um, go. So if you're looking for games, I do have an eBay store. Um, I can put the information in the description below. Um, but I'll be doing a video here in a couple of weeks. When I get all my painting stuff, doing a haul of all of that. I do have one of them already. Um, and maybe making some painting videos. I've never painted miniatures before, so it's going to be rough. Um, but I might do a series of videos kind of showing you what I've learned, things like that. So yeah, I mean, board games are back on the channel, I guess. I haven't done a board game video in a very, very long time. I've been playing Legos, um, been doing a lot of that, doing a lot of stuff on eBay, watching a lot of TV. Um, so I've been busy doing all that stuff. But I also want to start doing more videos. Um, so I actually got some editing software and want to maybe make at least one video a week, maybe two videos a week. I do have a Blu-ray haul. that will be the next video coming probably this weekend. Um, I might do like one video on Wednesday and one video on Saturday or Sunday. Um, but we'll see how that goes for now. But without further ado and me rambling, let's go ahead and get into what we're going to do today. Got this ginormous box. I didn't want to pick it up because it's only a bit in the screen. Um, it's all going to go right back in this box. I don't have enough room on the shelf for it yet. Uh, but it is Planet Apocalypse. Looks like to be designed by Sandy Peterson Art by Keith Thompson. So the other Peterson games that I have are It's Cthulhu Wars. I have pretty much all of the first wave of stuff. I haven't bought everything. I don't have room for everything. I do have the third wave coming and a special wave coming. I have um, Claire over here in the corner. I have um, Glorantha, the God of War. Um, I didn't back. Uh, I haven't backed again on Kickstarter in probably six months. Um, even this, the Marvel game by Simon, which I'm kind of surprised because I don't miss many Simon games. I just chose not. Until I get some stuff painted, some stuff sold, I'm not going to buy any games. But didn't get that, and then those are the two big games I have. I had um, Evil High Priest, but I sold that off because I didn't really know what it was, and I was I hadn't been playing it, so um, I sold that one off. I don't think I don't think it had any miniatures in it. It may have, I don't remember. Um, but that is kind of the two games I have from Peterson Games. I don't have anything else from him. He just announced a dinosaur game today. That was kind of interesting. Um, I'm supposed to be getting Staropolis from some time. Um, but I was a, I didn't pay my money on time or something, and now I, don't, I need to send him a message. Um, and I never did hyperspace because that was a lot of money. He makes a lot of high end games, um, a good product, just a lot of money uh, to invest into the entire game. I think I invested in this into this entire game. Uh, I don't even remember what it was about because his games take a long time to get here. Um, but that is, let's go ahead and get into this. This is huge. Maybe? Come on. There we go. Alright. So to start, this whole thing just came off. So, 
what I got in the trash can before I did this. But this is one of the cardboard pieces. Um, and then this is a play mat thing. If you know anything about this game, if you've gotten your pledge and you know about it, let me know. Um, I remember that the map is circular. I do remember that. Um, and so this is part of the circle. And then this is the other part of the circle. So it makes a map like that. So that's what I liked about it. It seemed pretty cool. Um, let me see here. These are punch outs. I won't do those because I don't have any room to put them right now. This is another character card. Here are the instructions. Get a nice thick instruction booklet for all of his games. I have a hardback. I think I have a hardback instructions for Cthulhu Wars. And then these are some player things. Player mats. And then there's some more player mat stuff. And then the rest of this is all minis and dice. So, let's see. Here is a character. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it does have a cool base, but that'll be fun to uh, paint. Probably will wait until I get better at painting to paint some of these figures because his figures are usually pretty high quality and I don't really, I want to learn um, before I paint some of this stuff. This is another, so let me look up the names of these things. This is going to be a long video, so just stay tuned to that. Okay, that's definitely not it. Let me see here. Get some of this stuff out. Okay, there's one. one. So the this thing right here is a the um Cato B Cato Lipas Cato Lipas. There is the card of it. There's the back of it. Um, let's see here. Now this other big thing I just had. Yeah, right here is its card. This is Lord Bad Thomas. And so that is what this thing is. This thing is awesome. Yet again, I'm excited to be able to paint that one day. And then this is, um... Let's see what this thing is. Alright, this thing is the Hellhound. It's another cool figure. And then, let's see here. These are the Cademans. So there are two. Kakei demons, Kako demons. I'll show you the picture in a minute here. And then there's some fiends. I think these are the fiends. They're in there pretty good. I gotta be careful. I don't want to break off their horns. And then these look, these guys. There's some minute small ones here. Let's see. Okay. These look to be the Griff, the Griffalus. And then these things look to be the larva, these little small ones here. And then I don't exactly know the name of these things. I can't find it. It may be a character, but there are these are the last miniatures. There's also a bunch of dice in here, and then there are some cards. So here are the different gifts of the characters.
So these are the different character cards. Oh, these fit in there nice and snug. These are nice, have a hole in them already. That's what type of cards I like. These are called gift cards. They look like this. And then we have Legion cards. Which, get them open here. Look like these. Well, they say Legion, then these are different ambush cards. So that is what is in this main um, that is what is in the um, base game. Thus, so that is what comes in the main base game box. Uh oh, I need to put the lid back on the miniatures. So that is everything that comes in the base game. Lots of cool stuff. Alrighty, I am back. I had to get my I had to get my plug in for my computer. I'm the trash can around so we can get all the trash thrown away here. Alright, let's go ahead and get into some of the expansions. There are two expansions that come in boxes. One's called the Power Pack. Looks like that. Here is the back of it. And then comes with the Void Pack, which is upside down. And then this is the back of it. We'll go ahead and start with the Void Pack. And then we'll move into the Power Pack. Yeah, again, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't exactly know what this game is about. It's been a long time since I um, bought into it. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and look at the campaign and the instructions to see exactly what it is about. Um, also, you hear my dog barking in this video. My apologies. Um, he hears people in the hallway of the building I live in. So it comes with some more characters, which we'll go over here in a minute. Um, comes with um, some more maps, which are in circles. And then it comes with a big playmat in the middle. There's a Lord's area, and then there is a Moon Base. And then the rest of these are just figures. So we'll start with the first one. They're in here really good. This one is called Lady Steno. And so that is what that looks really cool. And this is what the card is, Lady Steno. The back. Okay. This one is Lord Taras Taraske, and I'm butchering these names. So if you do know the actual names, put them in the comment section below. If you know anything, if you know anything about this game, if you played this game, uh, let me know. So here is that character's card. I wish the characters were in colors so I could see how they were painted or how they look supposed to look. Black and white makes them more difficult to paint. Hopefully they're in the um, the instruction booklet. And then this is more about the launch site. And so this is some rules for the two launch sites inside the box. Um, next up, these are two character cards. Two characters. So this character is called Brass Knuckler Brawler. And then 
this character is called Farm Girl Dorothy Hall. So those are the two character cards for them. And then the next w characters here we have the Secator. This is a really, really just badass um, mini. This is why you back Peters in Game Mage because there's so much detail in the face and the long arm with the hooks and stuff. Really, really cool. And then you have um, the Magdalene. This thing is huge, whatever it is. And it's got a face on the butts with his tongue stuck out, so that'll be fun. Um, it's got tongue sticking out all over its body, actually. So there is that character card. And then the final character of this expansion um, is the Mandrake. So that is the Mandrake, and it's got a tongue in the back as well. So those are the minis and characters in this game. So let me get everything put back here. Actually put that there. Okay, so that is the Void Pack. Really, really cool minis. Yeah, I won't be selling games with miniatures in them because I enjoy miniatures. I enjoy games with miniatures. Um, they're, I mean, if I even if I paint the miniature, I use them as art pieces too. That's what I really like. Um, this one is called the Power Pack. Really cool artwork. All the kind of boxes and the design similar. Okay, we got character cards here. Here is a big map. This is called the Final Battle. And so it is um, a complete circle. And on the back, there is some more stuff. So there is instructions specifically for the both the void pack and the power pack also come with cards I just, haven't, I just didn't open them um, they can stay kind of in their case uh, but let's go ahead and start here with some minis the first is the um, filer or the feeler yeah that's what this is so this looks like this So here is the um, description of the character. Next up is the Bellarux. This is an interesting um, character with a, a mannequin on the top of its head. I think this game is um, similar, is in the same realm as Cthulhu Wars in terms of where it gets some of its mythology from. Uh, but I am not for sure, so don't quote me on that. Next up is the Targrady. Targrady. Um, this is what it looks like. Here is the character card. Let's move into some bigger ones here. This is Lord... Gurion, pretty cool, kind of a monster split off into two different monsters. Here is the character, the cards, you'll need all of this to be playing different things, it has all of the stuff on it, lots of detail on all of these. This one is Lord Argus, that is what Lord Argus looks like.
Okay, and then we're left here with the two characters. First one looks to be is Sissy Salmon, is a goth girl. And then Doc Hunter is the uh, next one. He's an ER doctor with training in many fields. So that is him. I love that the character, like the characters in the game, are so small compared to the giant miniatures that I'm assuming are the villains um, of the game. Okay, so that is the power pack. Like I said, both the power pack and the void pack had cards in them. I just didn't open them up. Um, Alright, there's still more. We got tons of boxes here. These are two boxes. We got uh, a couple other boxes here. We got some stuff right here. more stuff and then we got another box which I'll save till the end so let's go ahead and see here this is a dice pack I um, just got some more dice I usually always order dice even more dice even though the game comes with dice I don't know why I'm just a dice person um, these are the um, cardboard character thing the character um, the, basically the things I showed you, but they're just um, actual like cardboard. They're upgraded for the Kickstarter. So I have two packs. Um, I have several of those. These are some of the big ones that I showed you. Um, I don't think we've I don't think we've gotten this, like this is the Spider Mastermind, the Great the Cthulhu, and then the Lord the Boots. These are some of the ones we're coming to. Uh, but then this is another pack that I already showed you. Um, so I will save maybe these three to the side here. So that's cool cardboard to go along with the game. Um, this kind of improves the gameplay a little bit. All right, let's get into some minis. Here is Lord Shibudu. Getting near the end here. So in this is the character card, which I'll show you. And then here is the uh, cardboard version. And then here is what the mini looks like. I don't know if I can take it out of the packet. I'll just let you see it from there. Um, so that is one of the boxes. Next box here is Spider Mastermind. Go ahead and open these up. This is the character card for Spider Mastermind. Pause, read, read all the cards. Hopefully, I put them in there well enough so you can read them all. Holy moly, this is a big, big mini. Imagine them playing this on the gaming table once it's all painted. Holy moly, that is really, really cool. why these games do cost a lot more money um, to pick up because it is um, it's a higher quality of many. Let's see what this is in this little box right here. I'm guessing it's components that are like cardboard or plastic components, maybe better mapping. I don't know, the maps are all cardboard. So I don't know. Like I said, it's been years since I've backed this game. And I was surprised to see it in my mailbox. So these are more cardboard um, pieces and different things. I'm not going to take it all out, but this is just different cardboard items, artwork for the game. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, final, last 
also and not least is Great Cthulhu, and this is the last item I'll be showing you from Planet Apocalypse. So, definitely excited about this game. I gotta relearn what it's about. Um, I know with all of the three Peter Pan games I have, there's a lot of instructions, a lot of detail, but definitely. Something games I'm excited to paint and learn about and learn more about. Holy moly, this is massive. This is like the biggest mini I own. In fact, this is the biggest mini I own. Holy moly. It's funny because, um, Simon was doing something similar. No, I don't, it may be even bigger than this for. Cthulhu Death May Die, and I didn't back that because I just thought it was too massive. But for this to be a game piece in the game is massive. But imagine this painted um, as a piece of artwork if that's what you wanted. Um, even if you don't you play for the game, it's awesome. And something that hopefully once I get a lot, lot once I get better, more practice at painting, something that I can come in and paint one day. Probably in the distant future, if I have a lot to paint. And then here is the car, and then there's some punch outs. So that is intense. I'm actually going to leave that out and take a picture of that. So that is Planet Apocalypse. Um, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, all of that's going to go back in this big one. This is the box that it came in now that it's empty. This massive, massive thing showed up on my on my uh, mail room there, the other place I live and work. Um, about a month ago, I didn't know what was in it, and I opened it up. And I'm like, holy moly! Now I know why. Look at all the mini, look at all the cool stuff you get with this game. Um, but there you go. I've gotten Sarcadia Quest, which is right back there, here recently. Um, I have a couple of Simon game projects paying off here. Um, what else have I gotten? There's a lot of games I have here. Go through everything and kind of figure out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to continue to sell. Um, and there's all my zombicide stuff right there. But that's where I'm going to start painting. Zombicide is my favorite cooperative game. Uh, I need to go through my collection. Um, I got the bat. This is all Batman stuff. I got the Batman. The sec. I have every item from the Batman um, board game. Um, Gotham City Chronicles that there are and it's all many stuff that needs to be painted and organized as well um, So lots and lots of stuff um, But yeah, there'll be more board game stuff on this channel um, Still movies. still be doing a blu-ray haul here soon. Maybe some Legos um, Move more movies stuff, more TV stuff, but thank you so much for watching Hope if you like what you saw be sure to look, uh, click on the subscribe button like comment See you in the next video. Bye for now